With the new Dragon Ball game headed towards the Nintendo DS, we have lots and lots of things to cover, including possible fusion outcomes that can occur in the game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball update, where today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Project Fusion, and today I'm joined by JR Saiyans, and today we're going to be covering the notion of what we expect to see and how do we expect it to be executed. Now, we do have a little bit of a premise as to what's being seen uh, or, or will be shown in Dragon Ball Project Fusions, that being the character of Cabroli. Now, that's going to be like like a, a fusion of <laughs> it is it, it's quite silly now it's I, I thought it was gonna be like a go broly or Groly or something like that but it's actually incorporating uh goku's original name kakarot and broly so it's gonna be a uh, karoli which is quite funny if you ask me but um the thing about here is the fact that after reading his little uh power story and stuff uh karoli is supposed to be stronger than vegeto i don't know if that's true like so if that pretty is strong. that's fucking like out that's of this world <laughs> uh, so having Karoli be a part of Dragon Ball Project Fusion is really cool because the overall backstory here guys is the fact that these kids made a wish or whatnot and this, it, it's going to be like this giant universal tournament and uh, incorporating multiple universes and, and which kind of sounds similar to the whole multiverse thing and we're gonna have fusions after fusions after fusions after fusions multiple fusions from all across the platforms so so today we're going to be playing a little bit of a game as to what we want to see. So I'm going to ask you five. What are five characters that you would love to see fuse within uh, Dragon Ball Project Fusions? Because right, right off the bat, I can tell you my five. Now for me, I would go, love go, to go, see go. Janemba fuse with Super Buu. That would be my first one. Have of Janemba course, appear because Janemba right was everywhere. So that would be number one. Janemba and Super Buu. My second one would be to witness uh, Baby and Omega Shenron, to have Baby Omega Shenron, because Ooh. after after knowing what Baby's capable of, because what we saw in Dragon Ball GT, he was able to like manipulate and push Vegeta to become really, really freaking strong. I would love to see what he can do with Omega Shenron. My next one, and this is kind of like a wacky one, but um, I would love to see the fusion of someone like Yamcha and Mr. Hercule. Only because, oh. only because... Yamcha is one of the useless, most useless characters in all of Dragon Ball, and <laughs> Hercule is one of the biggest frauds of all of Dragon Ball. Yeah, like, this yeah. guy wants to talk about he can't be beat, he's the champion, yada yada, so why not have two of the most pathetic characters in Dragon Ball Fuse? That would be my third one. Another, another, an, another comedic relief, in a way, would be uh, having the two of the mightiest women to strike fear in our hero's hearts, Fuse, oh, that being Bobo and Chi Chi. You're taking all the good ones. Stop. Boma and Chi Chi. I mean, <laughs> they would put fear in any man because we all see what they do to their guys. So that would be quite funny in my opinion. So having to see that go about it. My final one would probably be seeing uh, Gohan and Future Trunks. I think I, I think watching Ultimate Gohan and Future Trunks fuse, because think about it. We have father and father what? fusing, so why not have son and son? So that would be such a cool thing because I wonder how strong they would be, especially with given the circumstance that Future Trunks is really strong and we have Ultimate Gohan, you know, up up and added into their mix. So those would be my fusions. Now, who would you like to see be fused in this? All right, so you you took some of the best ones, man. That is so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go with my very first one. This has to be probably the most sought out fusion and anyone wants to see okay all right so it has to be chow tzu and cyberman man what, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay that that'd probably be a wacky one that i want to see just just because who the hell wants to see a damn chow tzu and a cyberman and i don't want to be like a comedic a com like a, a co like a comedic relief i'm sorry i studied so much but uh uh making him like super duper op that would be like, like, why the hell is this guy so damn OP? Okay, that is hilarious. So, so that's probably what I want. I would want a wacky, uh, un unsought kind of character to show up. Okay, everyone knows how I absolutely love Bardock. Love him, my favorite character. Uh oh. So, I, I, Bardock needs to be in here, bro. Bardock. I'm sure he will. Uh, so, I want the fusion of Bardock. And I want them to bring in King Vegeta. Oh, uh, I, I swear to God, I was thinking, I, I knew you <laughs> was going to say that. Dude, how epic would it be to get the king with the god Bardock? Okay, I okay. I mean, I, I knew you was going to say something like that, <laughs> but I was like, maybe he's not. But it turns out I was right. All right, so you want the fathers to fuse. Okay. Oh, yeah. That'd be epic. That would be interesting. All right, so this is a fusion that's never been done that I want to see. All right, so I want Goku and Vegeta to fuse. 
We already did see them fuse. Oh, yeah, just plain. All right, just plain with that one. I was okay. gonna say, what what kind of what kind of <laughs> mammoth grass were you smoking before this? <laughs> nah, bro, it, it's the the good kind, you know, the good kind. Yeah, the good um, one. I, dude, you you took Bulma and Chi-Chi right out my tip of my tongue, man. Really? Yeah. You... <laughs> I just had to, man. Like they're they're just fearless when it comes down to like certain situations. Janemba and Super Boo, that, that that's such a fan favorite, bro. Oh, it I is love... a fan favorite. It's one of the I've best. Seen. Okay, so uh, Brolin Goku already happened. That was probably one of the biggest ones. That that's why it's like the right in front of the advertisement, right? Absolutely. Yep. Yes, it is. Mmm. Dude, this is so hard. I would, I mean, if I had to throw in another one, what about so using someone like Frieza and Cell? Oh, damn it. That, you see, Alex, you got to be creative, man. It's like, like that, that, that's the whole purpose of, like, not only this video, the but, game. like, the, the game. game. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to incorporate everything. Dude, so many people are going to hate it because of the, the simple fact that it's going to be, like, people are going to be like, oh, how strong is this character? How strong is that Oh, my character? God, You're yes. Go it's going to create a huge realm of what-if battles. <laughs> Dude, that's going to be epic, bro. All it, right, it so. It really is. You you just brought in Frieza, and Cell. All right. So, I, I mean, we're, we're so, talking about we're talking go, about going every. with Frieza and Cell. Yeah, going with every. Uh, you can go on with that real quick. But going uh, with, with Frieza and Cell, Golden Frieza and Cell. Golden like, Frieza. Uh, no, you go. What you were gonna say. I, I mean, so you're gonna stick with Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza and Cell. So it could be like some Golden Celza. Hmm. Golden Celza. That that could work. I mean, it, like like my my major question here is. Like, does multiple fusions count, or does it just have to be two uh, people? Because can you imagine yeah. if, like, if you were able you're to, like, three to fusions take... and stuff? I, I was about to say I would, I'd want to see the fusion of, like, uh, you know, Vegito with someone. That'd be pretty Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, Vegito, Vegito and Gogeta. Oh! <laughs> look, look, Alex. I mean, we, we want it to still be a game, bro. We don't want it just to be overkill. Come I mean, on, man. <laughs> like, Govito. Like, some, some, having someone like Govito... Go Oh, or uh what is it like vegeto i, I want to say vegeto, vegeto. like like vegeto. you know just th th that because i i've seen pictures i've seen like lots of mods and stuff to where you had govito in it and it was just the fusions of those two so that would be sick in and of itself i mean there, there are so many fusions and stuff and the one thing that pisses me off about this game and it really pisses me off like it just hits home like i am pissed what's is up, the fact up? that it's only for the, the Nintendo three, yeah. Yes! Like that, <laughs> yo, it breaks my heart because if this shit was one? like, if this shit was on platform, man, I think, I think it That's just so might cool. sell out more than Xenoverse. Only because That's you have the option of just all of these what if characters. I mean, it, it's just a giant what if game if you think about it. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think they're leading into something with this, bro. Honestly, think I think so? this is—I think this is going into the whole, uh, like you said, what ifs to future Dragon Ball games for consoles. I think they're, I they're really kind of experimenting. So. That would be great. I, I hope so. I hope they're experimenting, see what kind of reception what ifs get. Now imagine this going into the damn consoles, bro. Into that would a be amazing. Um, game. Like, extra comment cinema. down below as to what what are some of like your characters that your you're favorites in this game. Um, but like again, it's just like. What's the story going to be here? Like, like the entirety of the story. Like, are they going to hold like this massive, universal like tag team fusion tournament? Like, it, it's it's really cool when you think about it, and like when, when you really you know have like the premise and focus as to you know how everything's being set up. It just looks really really cool. Um, but I just hope that they do have a storyline to where like they don't have it similar to Demigra when he when when someone just comes along and tries to mess everything up. But um, I do hope that whatever story they have planned plays into as you said what's going to happen like in future dragon ball games because i i love i love the fact that they're doing something different with this they're oh, yeah. incorporating like because we as fans and as artists i, I can't speak as an artist because i'm a horrible drawer but as an artist <laughs> there are so many artists out there that, that draw stuff and like they always Amazing. do like what if characters they do commissions and stuff i mean for fuck's sake i would love to see rykon in this fucking game, but it's just you know it's a it's a it's a you know original character, it's like just like Zycor is in a way. Um, but j just for them to go off the limb and say, hey, we're gonna fuse Piccolo and Popo, we're gonna fuse Master Roshi and Yamcha, we're gonna fuse Krillin and Goku, we're gonna fuse Goku and Broly, we're gonna fuse 18 and 17. Like that's that's really really cool stuff because it's like we've never seen. I mean, we've we've often gotten Dragon Ball games that were like the same old shit. But now we're getting something just a little bit different, and it's so cool to know. So, how do you think this game is going to rank 
in terms Dude. of like popularity and where it would stand, you know, in terms of the market, because <clears throat> I, I think that they ought to bring it on to the um to the consoles like like at some point. Um, but do you think that they could like bring these like bring this game to like the console platform, or do you think this game is going to be like a one and done deal only for the 3DS, and then they're going to move on to something else? Like, what do you think? I, be- I do believe that it's going to be a one and done deal with 3DS, but like I said before, I I believe they're doing it to test the waters to test you know the market. If this game does good, it's going to be implemented to future Dragon Ball games uh, slowly but surely. They're going to in, in, increase what if scenarios because they used to have that back. Um, Raging Blast? Uh, yeah, Raging Blast told me had about, I would say, two to three what if characters, and that was it. Exactly. Uh, they, they could start implementing that in future games, just like they did in Raging Blast 2. Um, maybe just two or three what if characters and just keep going on from there because literally the possibilities are endless. And that that's, that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see a damn weak ass character like Hercule fuse with like vegeto and have her <laughs> oh my god stop <laughs> you're butchering everything the, and have damn her you know rule the universe or something but you know the, the waters need to be tested you can't just uh fling something out like this um to consoles and have it completely you know burn i i don't think that's the way they're, they're, they would want to do it so it, it does kind of suck they're doing it just for 3ds but people are gonna be jealous when they don't have this game. I, oh I'm, yeah, I mean I, I know I am because fuck for fucks. I, I think it's only coming out for uh, for like Japan only as well. I have to look. For no. It. I, no, I, no, I I could be wrong, but I think yeah. I think I think I heard something about that. So I was just like, oh no. Uh, but comment down below as to like what kind of fusions you guys like to see and why. And once again, guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys are Dragon Ball fans, don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys don't miss a single Dragon Ball update. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys cannot wait to see more, if you guys cannot wait to see the game in and of itself, smash that like button, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Tune in for more, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.